Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Got a little resin happy there. Well, we got dirt camera on. I got my uh, light cloth on there. Now, time for the heavier stuff. Time for the heavy stuff. Man. I sure like this nine ounce I got from Theracraft. Mm, it's nice stuff, man. I'm gonna order some more of it. Getting a little excited about Speed World coming up. Oh yeah. The 5th, February 5th, next month. Couple, three weeks. Be some jet flying action. First one of 2014. We'll have a buddy Oscar. My buddy Oscar. Oh, number 13. I <laughs> know you're out there watching. <laughs> he just, uh, what's up, Oscar? Give him a little shout out there. <laughs> That's kind of a little inside joke, but. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, number 13. And here, we don't want to get too much resin, guys. We just want to get enough. You know what I mean? So piling it on there would just be a waste. You gotta kind of take some and really spread it thin. Make sure we go past the edge for trimming purposes. Phoenix, Arizona, Speed World, February 5th through the 8th or 9th. So if you guys are close by and want to come see you, Bob, come on down. Still watching.
And after I get this all laid up, I can take and blot it with a paper towel and get any extra resin off. I'm still watching. The main thing is just get your cloth saturated. Cloth must be because it soaks up a lot of resin, you know. And you will have dry spots if you do not get enough resin on there. Know what I mean there, Vern? Bam, beautiful. Oh, there's that dang TV weekly test. Sure, you go past your edges, makes your trimming a whole lot better. Then we'll just go back and blot it with paper towel. Get any extra resin off.
was watching the thing news the other day. It was so hot at that tennis match in uh, uh, in Australia. They was actually cooking an A on the bench. <laughs> That's hot, man. That is hot. And then what I do is I wait for this to get to its rubbery state in probably three or four hours, maybe a little longer, since it's chilly out. Then I come and I got me a template I lay on here so I can cut it in the same place every time. It's one of my old ducks that I cut. I'll make you another video and show you how to do it. But it's basically you have to cut it to get it off, man. I cut it when it's soft, but I don't take it off till it's all the way set up. Because it's too hard to cut when it's all wet. I mean, cured out. Then I get a nice, neat cut, and it's easy to cut. Go to meat and burn. Now let that set a little bit. Then I'll uh, daub it with paper towel. Get some of that extra resin off there. We'll let it set up. Now I'm going to take this resin, mix a little bacon and a little of micro blues with it for my thick stuff I need on that other duct and uh, I'm going to keep rolling but not before I take me a break and load this video so we'll be back with more part laying up action from the shop <laughs> 